Welcome everyone. We are here today to talk about the power of product life cycle management and how it can take your product from concept to market in record time. That's right. PLM plays a pivotal role in streamlining processes, improving efficiency and reducing time to market. Let me start by explaining what PLM is. PLM is strategic approach to managing the life cycle of a product from initial concept through design and manufacturing to service and disposal. PLM integrates people, data, processes and business systems. It provides a product information backbone for the companies and their extended enterprise. And the power of PLM lies in the ability to connect people, organize and control product data. It helps eliminate costly inefficiencies such as delays due to errors and redundancies. And with today's technology like artificial intelligence, machine learning, PLM systems can even predict issues even before they arise, helping to save time and resources. And let's not forget about the role of PLM in collaboration. It brings all stakeholders together, ensuring everyone has the most up-to-date information. This leads to a better decision making and faster time to market. Yes, collaboration is key. From engineers to marketers, everyone can work together in the PLM system. This leads to more innovation in product and a happier customer. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to explore about the power of PLM. In the spirit of collaboration, we have here for you today a lineup of experts from the PLM industry to share their take on the power of PLM. Let me invite Benjamin from DSC Software AG to share their perspective. Hey everyone, many thanks Yash for the warm welcome and the introduction. Let me give you some concrete examples to share my thoughts about the importance of PLM systems for business processes in different industries. Let's have a look at some benefits and consider the possible use cases for some industries. Let's start with centralized data management. Let's take an electronics manufacturer as an example. The company uses a PLM system to store all product information for a new electronics product. This includes technical drawings, material data sheets, CAD models, production instructions and quality checks. All team members, including engineers, designers, manufacturing experts can access these information quickly and view the same data in real time. This saves a lot of time. Let's go to improved collaboration. An automotive manufacturer is managing the development process of a new model with PLM software. Engineers, designers, suppliers and marketing experts can collaborate in real time and share their ideas and the progress. Even across company boundaries, which is common in the industry. The company can respond to changes more quickly and more efficiently. Optimization of product development. Reliable performance and product safety are essential for medical devices. Let's say a medical device manufacturer manages the development process of a new lung ventilator using PLM software. The PLM systems allows the team to run simulations to optimize both performance and safety before the production starts. This results in shorter development times and faster time to market. Next one is the version control and change management. Let's take a look at an aerospace company using PLM to develop a new model of an aircraft. The system tracks all changes in the whole design drawings to ensure that every team member has access to the latest version. So the team can systematically review and approve the changes and prevent costly subsequent errors. A further one are compliance and regulation. For pharmaceutical companies, compliance with regulations is a must. During the development process of a new drug, a PLM system captures all relevant regulatory requirements and ensures that all steps are performed compliantly. This facilitates the approval of the drug by the relevant authorities. Another one are the cost reduction. A manufacturer of household appliance uses PLM 
to reduce their production costs for a new line of kitchen appliances. By optimizing the design and using less expensive materials, the company can reduce the manufacturing costs and ultimately offer more competitive prices. These examples show how PLM systems can be used in the various industries to improve the product development process and increase the efficiency and profitability of a company. Let's have now a closer look to one of our customers, Otto Fuchs KG. Otto Fuchs is a manufacturer of powdered metallurgy, sophisticated, semi-finished and finished products and a supplier for many different industries. The company has to deal with constantly increasing requirements and has to comply with a variant of regulations. The quality of their products must be high, documentation must be complete and provided on time, development and delivery times need to be short and of course the cost must be also kept in view. Otto Fuchs relies on a solution that is fully integrated into SAP. With the Sub-Engineering Control Center helps them bring all relevant product data together in one place, the SAP system. Before implementing SAP Engineering Control Center, design data was stored on a different network drivers and not integrated with SAP PLM. This wasted valuable time and resulted in high administrative costs. Manual work steps carry the risk of possible errors. And all in all, this lack of integration resulted in a longer design process. So, what was the company's solution to address these challenges? With SAP ECTR, Otto Fuchs established an important building block for an integrative PLM approach. Relying on SAP software, the company follows a future-proof digitalization strategy. The company has integrated data from CAD tools into SAP PLM and linked the product development documents with the relevant business processes. They eliminated data redundancies and achieved clarity on the release status of products. All of these thanks to a single source of data, which is now the SAP system. The users benefit from an intuitive user interface, which also helps them to work more efficiently. And last but not least, the implementation process took only four months. Let's summarize. The integration of the design processes with the central product data management in SAP is the first important step. With this step, Otto Fuchs established a single source of product data, which helped them achieve significant successes. Time to market was reduced thanks to automated processes. Easy access to design data is now possible across multiple teams. The productivity in the development process increased and errors were reduced. In the future, the company has the possibility to gradually expand and optimize their PLM landscape. So, to me, SAP PLM is an important key to a transparent and efficient product development process. And in addition, SAP Engineering Control Center is an integration platform that enables you to seamlessly integrate product data from a wide range of ordering tools and build a solid foundation for a fully integrated and future-proof PLM system that grows together with its customer. Thank you, Benjamin. Joining us now is Horst from Senet AG. Thanks, Yash, for the warm welcome and hello, everybody. SAP PLM is so powerful because it's not a PLM system. Sounds stupid? Agreed. I'll explain in a minute why this is true. PLM is not an application, it's a concept. You're waiting for a download link to install PLM and be successful, you will wait forever. The concept of real product lifecycle management is so powerful because it connects the dots between these creative engineers and the small rest of the company. You might say companies were very successful for decades without connecting these dots. You're right. So what changed? The answer is speed. In global competition with disruptive business models, there's no time left to deal with silo thinking, 
no time left to bridge gaps between non-connected islands, no time left to iterate endless due to missing collaboration. In a nutshell, to waste time and resources for compensation of missing integration. Product life cycles get shorter and shorter. The pressure for innovation and individualization gets higher and higher. Price competition gets more and more aggressive. The power of PLM is the answer to face these challenges. Why could it be an excellent idea to use a PLM system that was not made in the PLM world? The simple answer is because it was made to be an enterprise platform and it is already there in thousands of companies. We try to slice the elephant. We talk about PDM, PLM, ERP, SEM, CRM, MES and all these other beautiful trigrams. We slice the elephant and after that we put the pieces together and hope to build something that looks like and behaves like an elephant. Let's stop for a moment and ask ourselves what do we really try to achieve? Would you ad agree that we try to make more competitive products and bring them to market faster? If this is true, why don't we just take the most powerful enterprise platform, stop discussing about tri trigrams and leverage our resources to build a digital thread that will enable us to make more competitive products and bring them faster to market? Why do we discuss about technology when the real challenge is to overcome old-fashioned thinking, inefficient processes, egoisms creating local optimization instead of reliable company value? SAP provides the best platform to build a robust digital core for the enterprise and react in high speed to changing requirements with lightweight cloud applications that connect to the digital core. So what's missing to unleash the power of PLM with the enterprise platform? A real expert team orchestrated to create a one phase to the customer experience, transforming the customer requirements into valuable platform-based use cases. What makes real experts for PLM? Unfortunately, that's a bit like the missing PLM download. The way to become a PLM expert is not to participate in some application trainings. Real PLM experts are made by real industry experience. Real PLM experts supported their customers for years with the implementation of PLM concepts, using changing technologies and always facing similar challenges. They understand business processes and use cases of their customers. They understand legacy environment and new technologies and they understand it what, what it needs to onboard the people to new processes and methods. Real PLM expert companies build the customer solutions on the SAP platform, transform their experience into pre-configured system delivery, and fixed price offerings provide add-ons for white spaces, integrate SAP with non-SAP applications, and offer continuous support for the maintenance of the complete customer solution including standard and custom-specific extensions. The key for successful PLM implementations is to address the people, process and technology dimensions. So if you want to implement a PLM concept with the SAP platform, let's talk. Our purpose is to help you to make more competitive products and bring them to market faster. Thank you, Horst. Let's now hear from David from Leverex. Yash, thank you. Hello, everybody. I'd like to talk to you about the power of PLM. And specifically, I want to talk to you about the power of SAP PLM. Why is that? SAP PLM is the only fully integrated PLM solution that's integrated into an ERP. What does that give you? Well, I'm going to draw a thread through how SAP has built a series of applications to help you get your products to the market faster or your time to profit. SAP starts off at the beginning, at the ideation stage, where you have new product development, line extensions, uh, requirements management, uh, early costing, very, you know, very crucial things to define what you're going to invest your people and your time into. You then, after you winnow down that funnel of ideas into a product, you have to manage the product. SAP provides you a, the tool set of 
product portfolio management. Right products, right people at the right time. You then have to execute on your uh, project. You have to build your components, either with your ECTR, CAD, or your specifications. These are your initial pieces that you're building together your end product. This is all going to happen in a, in, a, in a robust document management system that's in the system. As you progress on this journey, you have to then define what are those parts? What are the components? What are the material masters in SAP? What are the specifications that you're going to use in your formulations? You have to have that. SAP, once again, is threading that information through you, allowing you to build up your foundation that you can then create your product. You're, you then, after you have your foundation built, you're putting it together. You're creating your recipe, your formulation, your bomb, your variant, your variant bomb. You now have your product that you can then build, okay? Uh, you have other things you can do. Manage your uh, visualization. So SAP provides you the lightweight visualization capability to further get that information out of engineering into the enterprise where it can be used to help procurement, to help manufacturing build and buy, buy your product. The whole time you're doing this, you have to do compliance checking. Where can I sell it? What do I have to do to sell it there? What are, what are the hurdles I have to go across to do that? Once again, part of that is, com is collaboration. You have to collaborate internally inside the four walls of your company and then externally with your customers your partners and your suppliers. SAP's EPD product, enterprise product development, provide you that capability of collaborating. Very important, because that then goes to your supply chain. How are you getting things in? Where is it at? How do I know? Once again, SAP provides you that because of the integrated nature of the PLM in the ERP, the ability to see, manage, and track that information. And then once you build that, being an engineer, uh, I built it to change it. You have to have change control and workflow. Understand where your changes are at in your process, where your bottlenecks are. Because once again, we went speed to market, speed to profit, okay? So you have to have that in there. Once you release it, you build it. As SAP has the robust handover to manufacturing capabilities that allows you to build it where you need it and gives you the flexibility of changing it, you know, that on the floor, the as designed bomb is not what you build, it's the as built bomb. So to have the ability to manage the handover from engineering or formulation to the end product, the plant. All along doing this correctly, what is your sustainability? SAP provides you the capability of performing sustainability. What is your percent recycled content? What is your carbon footprint? having that. Once again, you can see this thread kind of going through the whole build process. This is robust end-to-end -end circular design flow, building it responsibility. Uh, the other thing you have to do, and this is the real, one of the real powerful things, is the um, re real-time reporting. Because the PLM is inside of the ERP, all that data is there live. SAP has reporting tools like the SAP's Analytic Cloud where you can unlock your enterprise data for anybody in the organization to, to use and to get, once again, your, your speed to market. SAP's next level, enterprise product development. Taking traditional PLM and putting it in the cloud. SAP has many pieces of this, the, SAP, the uh, specification, the formulation, the engineering, the collaboration, all these cloud applications where SAP is heavily investing for you, the, their end customer. What does this all mean to you? By collapsing your PLM into ERP, you can fully leverage your SAP spend, knowledge, and infrastructure, simplifying your systems and gaining all we have talked about you know, today into a, a delivery of time to profit. Thank you, David. So, as you see, the power of PLM is truly transformative. Visit the SAP PLM product page to find out more on how you can harness the power of PLM to accelerate your enterprise innovations. There you have it, viewers, our insightful segment on various aspects of PLM and how it helps you and your enterprise from concept to market in record time. What are your thoughts on the power of PLM? 
Join the conversation in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.